Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. This is the woman of God, Apostle Bellama Billy, a.k.a. Queen Belemzi, from Queen Belemzi Ministry School of Power. So I woke up from a dream this morning. Apostle had a dream. And God wants me to share this dream. It was a powerful rescue, powerful deliverance dream. And it also has to do with me and my members. So in this dream, I found myself on a big, like, ocean. I was in the middle of it. But I had, like, a life jacket, like a life jacket. And then I saw one of my members, right? And she was drowning, Princess Temi. So I used my right hand to grab her. And then there was this baby. I was hearing this voice loud saying, bring him, bring him, bring him, bring him. It was echoing loud like, like this baby, I'm not supposed to take this baby with me or something. So I had my left hand and I carried the baby and put him on my stomach because I was not, I was floating on the water, but with my stomach up, right? With the life jacket on. So I put him on my stomach and I used my left hand to hold him. And I used my right hand to hold my member. She was already drowning, but when I held her, her head was up the water. But I was on top of the water. And this was a big ocean. And suddenly I saw like a shore, like a place where I could go. So I started like swimming, but with my face up. But it felt like I was like a, a boat. It was fast. And all the way, I felt it so real, like on my bed. I didn't know I was even dreaming, honestly. So I went fast, right, with the baby on my stomach, my left hand on him, and my right hand pulling my member, and I head up the water, out of the water. So we were just going fast, and then I got to the shore, and I was wondering why there was a shore there, because this is like an ocean. So above the shore, uh, at the shore, there was somewhere I could sit. So when I sat down, I was like, wow. How did they um, have a shore here? And then in my head, I was like, oh, the water went down. It's going to come back up soon. That's why there's a shore or something. So I woke up from this dream. And as I woke up, I was on my bed just wondering, what kind of dream is this? It was so real. It's like a rescue, a rescue dream. God just rescued me, my members, and I believe a gift that he gave me or something from the marine kingdom or because this was the biggest ocean I've seen. It's like when we travel home to my hometown, but this was bigger than the kind of um, sea that I, I see when I go home. So I woke up from the dream and I was on my bed wondering only for me to close my eyes. I went back to the dream and I was still sitting on that shore. And while I was sitting there, I saw like a ghost ship, like a big ship, like the Titanic one. But it was a ghost ship, like you can put your hand through it. It looked like like a spirit ship. Like I don't think anyone can see it but me. Like people have died in that sea, right? Or ship, ship have drowned or many boats or stuff have drowned there. So I saw this big old ghost ship and I woke up again. I went back to sleep. I went back into the dream. And this time I saw the water, the sea, the ocean turning red. The red was covering the whole water and it was coming close to where I was. And I was like, oh my God, look at it. The water is turning to blood. Like it was just turning to blood. And then I think I woke up again and then I went back to sleep. I saw myself there again. And then I saw another ship coming to the left. Big old ship. This is like a big ocean, but I'm still on that shore sitting there. I'm safe. And this ship was to the left and these two captains came down. And they came to me, they said, they want me on the ship, but I can't come with my the baby. I just have to come alone. I said, no. They said, they want to keep the baby. And Mike, I said, no, I'm not coming. They said, because they cannot allow anybody, but they're willing to allow me, but they have to keep the child. And I said, no, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. It's okay. I will stay here. So I woke up. I went back to sleep. I saw myself. The captains came again. They said, please, they want me on the boat that this time they'll give me a better offer. 
But then I was like, well, these people are going to die anyway because the blood is coming for them. And before I know, the blood came and covered their own sheep too. And I said, no, my God will save me from here, will keep me alive, but I'm not entering any boat with you guys. I'm keeping all that I got, my member, the baby, and I even had some food in my hand that we could eat. And that's how that dream ended when I woke up. I was kind of wondering if I go back to sleep, will I continue there? Because for these guys to be begging me to come on that sheep, like like they really wanted that baby that I had. They wanted, because the baby, when I, was, when I was saving the baby from the sea, I kept hearing that voice shouting, bring him, bring him. Even when I woke up, I was hearing the voice echo in my room, bring him. So since God has been hiding me, God has been showing me some powerful deliverance and rescue dreams. God has been giving me some powerful things back. Yesterday, the dream I had, I got my silver jacket that's sparkling back. So many things that I've been receiving back. And God showed me a picture yesterday of how Jesus Christ protects us from the wolves. And I started crying when I saw that picture. Because that's me. I was surrounded by wolves. And they all wanted what I had. They wanted to collect from me. Look at that picture. They said, when the sh wolves come, stay close to the, sh to the shepherd. Look at the face of these wolves. Look how wicked and hungry they look. And look at the sheep being held by Jesus. And Jesus Christ gave me a scripture while I saw that picture. He said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I started crying. And I posted, I said, Jesus is our shepherd. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I heard this scripture loud in my ear. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And Jesus was just telling me how he, protect, he protected me from all these wolves that surrounded me and my members. And that's why he's telling me to go hide for now while he's restoring me back. So to God be the glory. This is a powerful dream. God just saved me and my members and restored gifts. So we are free. I am free. You are free. Those of you that were drowning, you are free in the name of Jesus. Even as God is showing me all these powerful deliverance dreams, may God show it to you too in Jesus' name. And as I was about to make this audio for this dream, I was hearing Psalm 34, right? Psalm 34, verse 22, The Lord redeemed the soul of his servant, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. I'll read in another translation. The NLT said, the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge to him will be condemned. NIV said, the Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. So the Lord is our redeemer, our restorer, our deliverer, and he has done it again. So to God be the glory. All of you read the whole of Psalm 34. You will be blessed. We are free. We are restored. We are redeemed. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus.